headed to the mountains. I'll be back in a week or two. Don't you try to reach me, 'cause I won't pick up for you. I've got some things I need to do. I see something sticking out right there, Eli. Oh, see how it's got a rounded top? The other ones that we were looking at had concave tops. Yeah. So the rounded top's a good sign. And they tend to have a little sandy color to them on top. And the telltale, you can smell it. If it smells a little like cinnamon. I smell cinnamon. And then I could smell Sanderson before I even yep, like got up that, to it. Sometimes I found them using smell alone. I like to cut them because I think the bottom's just full of sand anyway. Come kind of low. They're really tough. See how it's got a bale? Oh, I see. That's totally one different right than the now. other okay. ones. Yep. Now at this stage, trim off all that stuff. Keep the mushroom so that the gills don't. Get filled up full of sand and just trim the stuff off. I'm not gonna eat the sand anyway, right? <laughs> Get your brush out. There's a number one right there. Beautiful. I don't know if it's this, this is one or not. Like I said, mystery lump. You don't really know, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you walked right past another. Okay. <laughs> Forget mushroom eyes, lump eyes. Yep, look for lumps. <laughs> Sometimes they're 90% of them are underground. That was where they were so, wondering. We just got one right here, and I saw a tiny dimple. And there you go, there's a button. That's what you really want. Yeah. Perfect button, look at that. The veil's still all there. We got a little bug oh, hanging man. out. Now, how many more do you think are right here? You just don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> This one is popped all the way out so you can see it. They call them a, I call them a white flag. It's surrendering itself to us. Might be a little beyond. See, now this is past its prime. Yep. To find the ones we found is awesome. Sometimes you get here too late and they're all like that. You can go like this too. And cut, see how little damage there is. Some people you can just cut pieces off that are good still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye bye, mushroom. You're going with us. Ooh, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh, I'm headed to the mountain. back in a week or two don't you try to reach me cause I won't pick up for you I've got some things I need to do
Drying techniques here. This worked really good for morels. <laughs> but you find a any dark surface, slice them like quarter inch thick, and any dark surface on a if you're lucky enough to have a sunny day. Sometimes you can get them all the way dry in one day, but that's probably not going to happen with these. And then as soon as you get them completely dry, where they're crispy dry, mm -hmm. you vacuum seal them, and they'll last you years. This is also going to intensify the flavor a lot. That looks so weird. <laughs> it's hard to believe it's gonna like I know, but it does. It, it reconstitutes sort of and sticks <laughs> back down in there. Mushroom. We got a little fresh salmon. And let's put a couple green onions in there. Send it. Send it. This is what you do when you get a lot of salmon and a lot of matsutake. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy. Oh, I don't know if I want both of those. <laughs> I'll take one though. <laughs> Matsutake, what is it, egg drop soup? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or hot and sour soup. Hot and sour, okay. Very I love awesome a hot and sour every now and again. And then what? Should I just set Some one? Scallions on top. Should I just set one? <laughs> I'm going to just set one on the side. I don't okay, care. <laughs> there we go. All right. Probably shouldn't have done that, but. <laughs> Whoa. Strong. You can't disguise a matsutake. You can't. I thought you could, but you can't. It's. I'm pretty amazed, actually, that they yeah, can hold up and heat. Do more. A little sour heat, whatever. They're still freaking. They taste like matsutake. Yeah. There's a piece right there. That's neat. I'm gonna learn. Mm. Yummy.
or so. And then I'll top it off with water to get the full five gallons. Can you open the fridge, Eli? Very rustic loaf. Ooh, that's smoking. Yeah, better pull that out a little more. I'm taking, I'm just going to go like that yeah. and send it. See you in a little while, guy. Let's go, let it go for like five to ten more minutes. Oh, there's that rustic loaf. That's plenty for me. Mm, it's a bit much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Considering all the other stuff we have to eat. All right, we got a little noodle action. And then we got like, what would you call these? I know they're matsutake meatballs. I would call them matsutake meatballs, even though there's no meat. But they're yeah. Swedish, or is there a... It's like a Swedish meatball, yeah, because that's okay. a sour cream dill, white wine sauce, and then another sauce. Sour cream dill, white wine. A little extra Parmesan. Yeah, just for praise. Extra dill. A little sprinkle of dill. Yeah, everybody likes that. I right, know we got over here, like, you know, classic summer salad of just, uh, we call it tomato cucumber salad. I better get a utensil for that. We like to eat yeah. pretty. Might not taste good, but it's pretty. <laughs> Might not taste good. <laughs> we don't know yet. Well, We've never made matsutake meatballs. Oh, these? Oh, these are going to taste good for sure. You think so? All oh, right, yeah. cool. I've never had a matsutake meatball. It has. It's going to taste like matsutake. Oh. Okay. Rustic bread. Yeah. You give me that end I like the most crust. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes. More crust, more crust. All right. Hmm. Put some butter on there, huh? Yes. Really, I want you to cut open one of those meatballs. And let's see I know. Let's see what the texture is. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. I'm curious. Take your fork and your fork. Just freaking take one of these Here. and pry it open. 
It kind of looks like a chicken or a pork meatball. Yeah. Some matsutakis are white. Well, I don't think it's too hot. I have a taste. Mmm. I can see why vegan stuff is made with mushrooms because that it, it has a really meaty texture. Yeah. It definitely still tastes like masataki. You can't hide a masataki. We're finding oh, out. Oh, okay. You cannot hide the masataki at all. And then how's That's it going with this sauce? Like I put that a little, is pretty interesting. Put a little nutmeg in this sauce. Mm -hmm. Just because, you know, masatakis like are spicy. It's all pretty darn good. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> it's totally different. Mm -hmm. The meatball is really like pretty much a meatball. So we're gonna get those next and try it because if people make can cap cookies out of them. Mm. Yeah, the sweetness of the meatball goes really good with the tartness of this sour cream sauce. Just a little bitty thing. <laughs> the mushrooms fell inside, but ooh, that looks good. So, what's the idea here? What do you think? It was it like a zucchini bread or a gingerbread it's or what? Gingerbread. It's matsutake oh. gingerbread. I was thinking. It's a spicy mushroom. That looks oh, good. Oh, that looks good. Um, totally doable. Totally freaking. That is weird. That works. Mm -hmm. You can totally taste the mushroom, but it's. That is. That is neat. Yeah, that That's a neat works. thing. <laughs> oh, we got to toast some of that later. Mmm. Headed to the mountain